potential at the surface that will be equal to kq by capital r is this all right now potential outside it is equal to kq divided by small r is this all right this is going to be the set of the formula is this okay so graph of a hollow sphere b versus r curve h this is constant that is equal to kq by capital r up to r is equal to r and it decreases exponential I mean, this is a hyperbola it decreases like this and at infinity is go to zero now the graph of this one is at the center this is 3 kq by 2 r so it decreases like this and again hope you understand so this is the potential is this is Now. So now suppose we will study two things. One is earthing, and another one is conducting wire. Is this okay? Conducting wire. so what do you mean by earthing suppose if there is some conductor and if i earth this conductor means if i attach it with a conducting wire to the earth surface then what will happen earth is earth is a huge charge carrier huge charge carrier is this okay earth is a huge charge carrier so what happens when you attach it to the earth all charges means sorry potential of conductor conductor becomes zero so just remember this thing whenever you attach any conductor to the earth surface earth then earth rule is its potential will become zero earth transfer the charges in such a way so that its potential become equal to zero now conducting wire if two conducting material is connected with a conducting wire this is a conducting wire if it is connected with a conducting wire then what will happen 
tell me then potential of potential of both conductor both conductor becomes equal is this all right means potential of this one is v1 and potential of this one is v2 so v1 become equal to v2 potential of both conductor become equal when you attach it with the wire is this all right dear student okay so now uh, you have to use this thing in the question how you will use it so first try a very very easy question suppose there are two concentric sphere of radius r and two r respectively and suppose this charge is q charge on the inner sphere is q charge on the outer sphere is plus 3q is this all right if they are now connected with a conducting wire these sphere s1 and s2 are connected with a with a conducting wire is this all right if this is connected with a conducting wire then find final charge on each sphere you have to find final charge on each sphere how you will do it try it once if you are connecting with a conducting wire how the final charges will change is this okay try it so let's say let's the charge on the inner sphere be become q suppose it is q a small q then what is the charge on the outer sphere can you tell dear student so the on inner sphere total charge was capital q and on the outer sphere total charge is plus 3q when you connect it with this conducting wire total charge will remain same it is not going to change is this okay total charge remain same it is not going to change just wait one second
okay student yeah so uh, here the charges is a small q so initially basically total charge on both a sphere if you calculate total charge on both a sphere is equal to 4q isn't it so total charge remain conserved isn't it so if the charge on the inner surface is a small q the charge on the outer surface will be equal to 4q minus q is this all right now the potential of a sphere 1 and potential of a sphere 2 will be same so potential of a sphere 1 is equal to potential of a sphere 2 what is potential of a sphere one so that will be the potential due to self a sphere that is s1 and due to s2 as well so it will be equal to kq by capital r due to itself and k into 4q minus q divided by 2r by the sphere 2 and potential of a sphere 2 is kq by 2r by itself plus k into 4q minus q divided by 2r is this all right so this one and this one will be cancelled out so here what people do they cancel kq by r kq by r and they get one is equal to two that is a rubbish thing <laughs> do you you can't cancel kq by r because this will come this side so it will become equal to kq by 2r is equal to 0 so here q has to be 0 is this okay q has to become 0 so q is equal to 0 so inner sphere charge on the inner sphere will become 0 and charge on the outer sphere is 4q so final charges on the each sphere so on the inner sphere on the inner sphere the charge is 0 and on the outer sphere, the charge is 4q. Is this all right? 0 and 4q is the right answer. So what, what happens when two concentric conducting a sphere are connected with each other? What happens? At that time, what happens? Basically, total charge transferred to the outer sphere. Isn't it? Total charge is transferred from inner sphere to the outer sphere. So inner sphere charge becomes zero and outer sphere charge becomes equal to the total charge. Is this okay? But this happens only in the case of two spheres. Isn't it? When there would be three concentric spheres, this logic will be invalid. Is this all right? This is only for the two spheres. Now, There is another question on our thing. Suppose this is radius is R, here the radius is 2R. Here the charge is minus 2Q. Here the charge is not known to us. Is this okay? Miss R is suppose. Suppose the initial charges is Q. And now the this sphere is being earthed. This sphere is being earthed. Is this okay? Inner sphere is being earthed. Find find final charge on each sphere. A sphere. Do it as one, do it fast.
a sphere one is being earthed so suppose the charge on the sphere one will be become equal to a small q so basically what is the logic of our thing uh, potential of a sphere one will become equal to zero is this all right that becomes equal to zero so what is the potential of a sphere one can you tell me that is due to this sphere itself that is equal to k q divided by capital r and due to the outer sphere sorry k a small q k and due to the outer sphere what is the uh, what is the potential on the inner sphere that will be equal to k into minus 2 q divided by 2 r is this all right so that will be equal to zero you have to remember the formula of the potential inside outside in uh, of the a sphere is this all right so if you cancel it dear student this two to cancel this is cancel this is cancel equal to capital q so initial charges and final charges would be same it is okay so final charges on each sphere on the inner sphere final charge is q and on outer sphere the final charge is minus 2 q is this all right question used to uh, come like this also what is the charge flows the charge supplied by the earth charge supplied by the earth that is going to be zero charge supplied by the earth will become equal to zero hope you understand is this okay in this case it will become equal to zero now do one more question suppose there are three concentric sphere r radius this is 2r and this is 4r here the charge is plus q here the charge is minus 2q here the charge is plus 4q inner sphere means the middle sphere is being earthed middle sphere is being earthed find charge on middle sphere is this all right do it do it first
so how to do it so let's say here the potential here the charge become equal to a small q charge on the middle sphere it becomes a small q because inner sphere and the outer sphere will have the same charges will have the same charges because this charge is not going to change isn't it no now so uh, the potential of a sphere 2 will become equal to 0 so what is the potential of a sphere 2 so that is due to a sphere 1 that is equal to kq by 2r that is due to self potential also kq by 2r and that is due to the outer sphere also that is equal to k into 4q by 4r is this all right that will become equal to 0 so there are k r k and this k r cancelled out here 4 4 cancelled out so this is equal to q by 2 is equal to minus q minus q by 2 that is equal to minus 3 q by 2 this 2 2 is cancelled out q is equal to minus 3 q is this all right q will become equal to minus 3 q so charge on the middle sphere is minus 3 q is this all right good so what is the total charge flown through the earth so initial charge of the middle sphere was equal to minus 2 q so uh, obviously and the final charge is minus 3q so minus q charge is provided is provided by earth is this okay that is being provided by earth hope you understand copy it Try one more question. Suppose here, suppose here radius is r again two r, and again this is four r. This is the longest topic of this syllabus, class eleventh and twelfth. Electrostat is the longest topic. 
so in uh, the inner charge charge on the sphere one is plus two suppose and charge on this sphere is minus three q suppose and charge on outer sphere is let's say four q plus four q so what is happened a sphere one and a sphere three is being connected s1 and s3 are being connected with conducting wire with conducting wire is this okay fine final charge on s1 and s3 is this okay do it
so the inner sphere and the outer sphere is connected with a conducting wire so charge on the inner sphere is a small q and charge on the outer sphere will become equal to 5q minus q is this all right so potential of a sphere 1 will be equal to potential of a sphere 3 what what is the potential of a sphere 1 that is equal to kq by r what is potential a sphere a potential of a sphere 1 due to a sphere 2 that is k into minus 3q by 2r plus what is uh, a potential of a sphere 1 due to a sphere 3 that is equal to k into 5q minus q divided by 4r is this okay and that will be equal to potential of 3 potential of a sphere 3 that is equal to k into a small q divided by 4r plus k into minus 3q divided by 4r plus k into 5q minus q divided by 4r is this all right so this one this one will be cancelled out now if this one will come this side, it will become equal to kq by 3kq by 4r. Is this all right? If this one will come this side. And if this will go to this side, it, it will become equal to 3kq by 4r. So 4r, 4r cancelled out, kk cancelled out, 3, 3 cancelled out. So q will become equal to capital Q. Is this okay? So I am taking a funda, fantastic data that uh, charge will not transfer. Its charge will remain same. That is plus Q and its charge will remain same. That is plus 4Q. Is this okay? Uh, so how, why this such data is coming? Because I have taken such a data. I have not taken it intentionally, but uh, at random it has been selected like this. Is this okay? That's why the answer is coming. Uh, that there is no charge transfer from a sphere one and a sphere three. Is this all right, student? Okay, today up to this, in next lecture, we will study uh, about the relationship between electro electric field and electric potential. Is this okay? And after that, we have only one topic left that is electric dipole. Is this okay? I think two lectures will be needed to complete this chapter. Thank you. Thank you, student. Bye.